Howdy, everybody. Back to uh, commentating this game. We have Eliakim versus Blank. Now, Blank making a um, pretty good run so far here. But now we're in loser's quarters. As we just saw, loser of this gets fifth place. Winner gets to move on and possibly make an even deeper run. And right now, just the way that Blank has been playing tonight. Look at this. 52% on Eli's 130. I'm pretty sure this is on paper a pretty bad matchup for Peach. I'm not going to claim to know the intricacies, but uh, definitely it's not looking like that at the moment. That neutral are killing from mid stage. 63% is all that's been dealt. Okay, with this. Oh, that's a dot eyes also. Yeah, Eli Kim knows and he's trying to respect it. Okay, good shield just getting out of the way. Dot eyes is not nearly as uh, devastating as a stitch or a bomb, uh, but. It's harder to recognize, and it can still do damage, especially if the Peach knows how to combo off of it, which Blank absolutely does. Okay, though, now as I'm talking about here, it felt like maybe Blank was comfortable with his lead and stopped respecting all of Snake's nonsense because he ended up taking, what, 80% and then died to an up tilt. Like, that's still something that, ooh, my god, uh, still something that Snake is just very capable of doing. It's so much of his moves do so much damage. All right, but let's talk about the actual game. I'm kind of liking this. Both players trying to play defensive. As I say that, <laughs> the YOLO side be trying to zone break right there. Um, yeah, this is. A, I feel like this is a range that Eli does not want to be in. When Peach can just float and threaten all these aerials, he wants to be just a little bit farther away, and he hasn't managed to find a comfortable footing. Oh, right as I say that, he tries to go in for that cheeky grab. That is a sticky, though. Oh, he's dead, but I believe that... Okay, just goes for the raw damage. Doesn't want to risk it. You know, maybe he could do something really cool with it, but... I mean, C4 does what? 24%? It's ridiculous. Just take the damage. Oh, man, I'm loving grenade usage from Eli right now. And he's looking for this up tilt, which is, for Peach especially, it's so hard to avoid the up tilt. It covers so much space and so much of where you want to be floating. And that being said, 137%, but he's been avoiding those finishing hits, and that's what's important. Look at the spacing right there. You know, the Snake does not have small hitboxes, but still the weave at Blank's disposal. And I love that the pressure, I don't know if he wanted to throw that grenade or was expecting to, to explode, but actually managed to get, oh, Eli managed to get a, out of that pressure, but has still yet to find a direct answer. 159%. He's actually struggling to end things. And I think that, obviously, that speaks volumes. The fact that if Eliakim is not finding those up tilts, that he's struggling to this degree. Yeah, look at that. Just a clean two stop. Blank looking real good right now. I'm wondering what adjustments need to be made from Eliakim. I think maybe a stage with more room for one. Probably all those stages with more room got banned, though. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be going back to uh, PS2. I mean, Snake does also like to have platforms, if not just for the... Because I know that Eli loves going for those stickies. When somebody's just shielding on a platform, uh, Snake has effectively the best command grab in the game. <laughs> he just jumps up right there, little boop, on the nose. And uh, when he's ready, you just explode. Take 25, you die at 80. You know, why not? Three, two, one, oh, actually, okay, so it was not PS2. My eyes deceived me. This is, I think, much better. Mainly because he... Ooh, okay, well, <laughs> I was going to say. Mainly because he maybe can take that space that he wants. On the other hand, if he gets trapped in the corner, that's going to be even scarier on a stage like FD without any platform to maybe retreat to or help him out. And that's what we're seeing at the moment. Oh, off stage in the corner. That grenade exploding at that exact moment was so pivotal. It gave Eli just the tiniest window to get back onto stage. I like that. Going for the... Oh, there's a stitch. There's a stitch. Oh, my God. That was so good. He throws up this stitch. And that entire time, I guarantee you. Eli's just watching the stitch. He's like, am I going to get hit by this? And he stopped paying attention. He followed the birdie and he missed the true threat. That was Blank's parasol. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cute. Uh, honestly, I don't know why Snake would pick up Peach's uh, turnips. It's funny. Like, a lot of the... A lot of the times when you see two characters that both have items, you're like, oh, we might see some really nifty item play. And we are seeing that to a certain degree, but, like, Snake just doesn't care about Peach's turnip. It's like, this is just a worse projectile. That was... What a bait! That's actually so smart. I think he just, like, had the grenade, knew the grenade was going to explode when he was way down there, and he kind of baited Blank into following him. A quick stock return, though, means that this is now a pretty much a two stocks to one, but it's it's a clean two stock to one. This is looking really good for Blank. Oh, and on FD, this is the this is the downside of it. It's a stage where a lot of characters' strengths and weaknesses become just maximized, and you're seeing Snake's problem with being stuck in disadvantage, being kind of having a, a difficult time getting back down to the ground. But here's where strength, Snake's strengths might come in clutch. For one, now that Peach is in the corner, what can he do to actually exploit it? Grenade exploding on him. That's actually really bad. Nikita not enough to kill. Another one tries to follow home. Ah, oh, that forward tilt's not enough to do it going the other way. And, oh. That! <laughs> yeah, it's like... Okay. Oh, I'm... Wasn't that death percent? Oh, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. Wait. I'm not sure on the exact threshold, but uh, regardless, a grab now will definitely kill Blank. But 137%. Oh. Eli needs to play this absolutely perfectly, or that's it for his entire run. Finally managing to do it, but 175. He has to put himself in the corner just to wait out that invincibility, and that's exactly where Blank wants to put him. I'm liking this, though. Rolling around just <laughs> at the speed of sound. That, oh, my God, I thought that shoe was going to break right there. What a menace. Look at that, that just floating up at that height. What are you? Oh, my God. This is actually such a... All right, there it is, though. That was actually starting to look scary for Blank, but that's why it's so hard to make comebacks like that against Peach. She just has, especially when you get to that point when dash attack is a kill option, she can kill you with a single burst. Anyway.